Hey everybody, Ashton here with 10 Cents with another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at a new release, Pi Air by Givenchy. My friend Jason from 860 Cologne, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel, let me know that Macy's was having a 15% off sale, so I went ahead and ordered this. Um, I've said it before a few times, but where I live, there's basically no chance for me to get any new releases, so this was my best opportunity because I doubt that this will be released at discounters for a while. So we're going to go ahead and check out the presentation here in a moment and then jump into the fragrance itself. All right, let's go ahead and check out the presentation. So you can see here on the front of the box the name of the fragrance and the house, size and concentration at the bottom. There's nothing on the sides. The box does have a textured feel very slightly. I'm not sure if you can pick that up or not. At the top, you have the Givenchy crest right there, punched into the box. Then on the back, name of the house again and their website. On the bottom, it's the uh, typical information, your ingredients and everything. And the badge code is punched into the box right here. So the bottle looks fantastic. I really, really love this bottle. Can't say that enough. It has a frosted glass appearance on the front. Again, you have the fragrance name and house. You also have Givenchy around the atomizer here. There it is. And also on the back here. And the pie bottle design has not really changed, but it looks great with that blue color juice inside. So this is like any other pie bottle. You just flip this down. And this can pop off sometimes, so if this pops off in transit, you can slide this back on. Don't worry about it. Atomizer works well. And then on the bottom, you have the batch code here, right there. That is the presentation for Pi Air. In my opinion, this is a fantastic looking bottle and will look great in any collection. And I said at the beginning that this is a new release, but there was previously Pi Fresh, which is this one. It comes in a, the same pie bottle, only it's a green liquid. This is not the same as Pie Air, so this is not a re-release of this one. And Pie Fresh is actually discontinued at this point, so this one is becoming a little bit hard to find. Pie Air has ginger in the opening, but the ginger doesn't come across crisp like it does in other fragrances, like Blue de Chanel, for example. There's also Neroli in here and floral notes, and there's a good amount of those floral notes. They kind of all mix together, and it gives you a slight powdery feel, and it reminds me of fresh laundry or even dryer sheets to an extent. The fragrance is also, like its namesake, kind of airy in the opening. It's also slightly fresh, but again, it's leading more toward that floral side of things. So if you're looking for a more masculine kind of spring fragrance, then this probably won't fit the bill for you. As the fragrance goes through the mid, the florals start to get toned down and go into the background somewhat. Once you hit the full dry down, there's a nice base with a clean white musk and some benzoin. Now benzoin is the main thing that you pick out from pie and also pie fresh. So it does have that OG pie DNA, but the benzoin in this is toned down a lot. So you can still pick it out, it's just not as in your face. And for me, this also comes across a little bit aldehydic as you move from the opening into the mid. It's not really strong, but it does give off a slight aldehydic feel. Now I can tell you guys that my wife's reaction was not great. <laughs> the first time that I had her smell this, which was after I first got it, I had her smell the opening and the dry down. Um, her actual reaction was just WTF. So she actually said the words, but those were her reactions. Not great. It wasn't a WTF like this smells amazing. It was a WTF, what are you wearing? So that was not great. Not exactly the reaction that I was hoping for. Um, the other times that I wore it throughout the week that I've had it, um, she started to enjoy it more, but at the best, she said it's okay. So her reaction is lukewarm at best on this one. Now, personally, I like this more than my wife does. I don't love it, but I do like it. I don't know that it's gonna be a huge hit, though, because it's mainly floral. It gives off that kind of 
dryer sheet powdery aldehydic vibe, especially in the opening through to the mid, and that may turn a lot of guys off. So I would suggest that if you have the capability of testing this beforehand, to go ahead and do so. If you're a huge Givenchy pie fan, if you loved pie fraiche, then you may want to go ahead and check this out. It doesn't really copy what Pie Fresh did, but it would almost be like a flanker to that release had Pie Fresh not been discontinued. This fragrance is more for warm weather. It's not something that would come across all that well in very hot weather or cold weather, so this is better suited for spring, and depending on where you live, fall. Longevity-wise, this one definitely changes depending on the temperature of where you're going to be. So I wore this when it was warm outside and it projected very well and it lasted for eight hours without issue. It was performing very, very well. I wore this when it was cool outside for a couple of days and it sucked. The projection was minimal. It sat maybe an inch off my skin and lasted for about four hours. So if you wear this in good, normal, warm springtime weather or fall weather, then you should get very good projection and longevity. But this is definitely one of those fragrances that performs according to where you wear it. Age-wise, for me, this comes across as a slightly younger scent. It doesn't come across as anything that's going to be suited for people over middle age, most likely because of all those powdery, floral, uh, airy kind of nuances in the opening and through the mid. So for me, this is for middle age and under. Overall, I'm glad they did this release. It smells new, it smells different than anything else out there. So that's very welcome, especially since, you know, with the constant flankers and releases, things start to run together a little bit. I do think it might be a little bit divisive, kind of like Gucci Guilty Absolute, where people either love it or hate it. I don't think it will be taken to that extreme, the way that Gucci Guilty Absolute has hardcore fans and hardcore detractors, but I feel like it's going to fall kind of along that line. All right, everybody, that is my take on Givenchy Pie Air. Let me know if you've smelled this one. Hopefully it is making its way around the US and the world so that everyone can start checking this out. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.